Sometimes when we pass objects to a function, we need the object to exactly contain the property specified by the type without any additional properties. But because TypeScript is a structural type system, we can easily add more properties and TypeScript will not complain. This can lead to unexpected behavior and hard to find bugs. In this video, we will create a utility type which ensures that only objects of the exact specified type are allowed as arguments in functions. Let's get started. So as we can see here at the top of the file, we have two types. The first type is developer and this type just has two properties a name and an age. Here we can see we have the wipe coder type and this is just a developer type with one additional property, wiping, which is either true or false. What are we doing with these types? We have this function here to def values and we are passing our developer type as an argument and then we run object.values on this argument to return all the values of our object. What is the issue with this? simple approach because this approach looks perfectly fine. Well, the issue is that we are not restricted to only pass in an object in here which has only the properties of developer. As an example, we have a constant developer and this only contains name and age and we have a constant wipe coder. This also contains the property wiping. Now, when we are calling to def values with a so-called object literal, TypeScript will tell us, hey, you're passing in a property which is not in your developer type. When I hover over this, we can see that the object literal may only specify known properties and wiping does not exist in this type. But when we look a little further here on line 20, we just call to def values with wipe coder. And strangely, this does not throw an error. But we can see that wipe coder clearly has this additional property wiping and it's set to true. Why does this work? Because TypeScript allows us to pass in additional properties. Of course, when I would remove this age property here, then TypeScript would tell us that this type is no longer correct because we can see here that age is missing in this type. So let's just add this back and we can see here this now compiles perfectly fine again. But because TypeScript works that way, we have an issue in our implementation. Because the first thing which is wrong is the return types of our two def values. We can see here the type which gets inferred is an array of either string or number. And this is completely true for the type developer because this type only has string and numbers in there. But we are passing in wipe coder and so this would lead the return type to contain an array of string, numbers or boolean. Now the next thing which is also wrong is what we are expecting to get back because when we run to def values we are expecting only to get back the values of our developer type here and not also the ones we add in additionally but when we would run this to def values function with our wipe code reference then we would get back my name age and also true because true of course is also in this wipe coder object most often this is fine and we can work with this, but sometimes we only want to have this exact type allowed as an argument, basically like when we would pass in this object literal here. So let's create a type which fixes that. The first type we will create will be a simple implementation, so it will be really easy to understand, but it will not show a really nice exception message. So because of that, we will then create a second implementation, which shows a much nicer exception, but is a little bit harder to understand. But let's get started with the first one. So the first type we will implement, we will call exact simple. And this will be a generic type, which takes two arguments. The first one is called actual type. This is the type we will actually pass into our function as an argument. And the second one is our wanted type. So we will say actual type here extends wanted. In this case where this is true we will then also check if wanted extends actual type and if this is the case we just return actual type otherwise we return never and when the actual type does not even extend wanted in the first place we will also just return never. This maybe looks a little bit strange at first, but what we are just doing is we are checking if actual type contains everything which is in wanted and possibly even more. But then we are also checking if wanted contains everything which is in actual type. And when these two checks are true, this means that actual type has to be exactly the same as wanted. So when this is the case, we just return actual type because we want to allow this to be used. Otherwise, we just return never because we don't want this type to be valid. Let's now just use this in our to def values function. Now let's copy this function here and let's change it a little bit. So we call this to def values exact simple. And now we will make this a generic function. So we will add a T in here as a generic type. And here, instead of using the developer type, we are using our created exact simple type. As a first argument, we pass in our T. And as a second argument, we pass in the type we actually want. So the one which should be exactly the same as the type we're passing in. So in our case, this is 
developer. So this is already everything we needed to change. Let's now see if this works as expected. So what we now will do is we will have this values reference here and let's just rename this and let's rename this to exact. And now instead of using to def values, we are using to def values exact. And as you can see, something changed. The argument here is no longer compiling. We can see that argument of type name, age, and vibing is not assignable to parameter of type never. Why is this? Let's backtrack a little bit what happens here. We are passing in here vibe coder. This is then passed in as our generic argument t. And we are now comparing by using exact simple if this vibe coder type is exactly the same as our developer type. And of course, this is not the case because it contains this additional vibing property. And because of that, we can no longer pass in a reference to an object which is not exactly developer. Because let's see what happens when I remove wiping here. As soon as I remove this, we can see that the error goes away. Because now, of course, the type we're passing in is exactly the same as developer. Now, this already looks really nice, but one thing which I don't really like currently is that I don't get a proper error message. So when I hover over this, we can see we only get back that this is not assignable to parameter of type never. So to fix this, let's create a second implementation, which will give us a much nicer error message. So let's create a new type. So we call this type exact better. And this also will have two generic arguments. The first one is, of course, again, the actual type. And we will now say extends wanted. And the second type will be our wanted type. Now we say here actual extends wanted because the TypeScript compiler needs to know that the actual type can be exactly the same as wanted or more to do the proper typings in our implementation. So what we then will do is we will create a so-called mapped type. I already did a video about mapped types. You can find it in the info box or in the description below. But what we are basically doing is we are looping over the existing properties of our type and create a new one from it. So let's create a new object here. And then we say we have our key and the key has to be in key of actual type. So we will not change anything for the key. We will just loop over all the keys and we'll leave them untouched. But we will use the name of the key to figure out if the key we are having exists only in the actual type or also exists in the wanted type. Because when we are looping over our keys and we find a key which is only available in the actual type but not in the wanted, we will set the type of the value to never. We will see in a second why this is useful, but let's first implement this. So let's first create a utility type so that this exact better type will not be too huge and too hard to understand. So we will create this type here called key only in first. And this will take two arguments, a first and a second. And now we will use the exclude utility type from TypeScript. So we call exclude here. And as a first argument, we pass in key of first. And as a second argument, we pass in key of second. Now, what does this type actually do? Let's hover over our exclude here and we can see exclude from T those types that are assignable to you. So what will happen here is we have all the keys from first and all the keys from second. And when we call exclude, then at the end, we will only have the keys as a union, which are available in the first type, but not in the second. So let's use this helper type in our exact better type. So we can say here, if the key extends key only in first, and we pass in our actual type and our wanted type, this means that this is a key we don't want to allow in our generated type. Because in our example here, this would be the case for wiping. Because when we are looping over all our keys in our actual type, the first key will be name. The name key is also in wanted, so this will not be true. The second key, age, will also be in wanted. This will also not be true. But for wiping, this key will only be available in actual type. So this will be true. And for this case, we will just return never because we only want to allow values for keys which are in our wanted type. So we use never here. Otherwise, we will just return the value type of our key. So we are saying actual type here and we pass the key to get the type of our value. Let's now use this type in our function. So let's just take this function, let's copy it and let's paste this in here. Now we just rename this from exact simple to exact better. And what we now will do is we will say t extends developer because we need this additional type information for our new function. Now we say here, instead of exact simple, we call exact better. And we again pass t as our generic argument and developer as our wanted type. Now let's copy this constant here and let's paste this in and let's now just replace our exact simple with exact better. 
So we can see here, this again gives us an error as we have expected, but we will see a difference when we hover over our error because we can see here types of property vibing are incompatible. Type Boolean is not assignable to type never because what happened here is we set the type of our vibing property to never because we don't want to allow any values for properties which are not defined in our developer type. Now, again, when we change this from exact to exact better, and we also remove this wiping here, we can see that these two now work perfectly fine, but there is one thing which is not really nice in our new implementation because the return type now is just any because TypeScript lost the type information when we use this more complex type. So this means we now just get back an any array type. But of course we can fix this and me personally, I would always use explicit return types and not just the ones which are inferred because this makes your function interfaces much easier to reason about. Now, how do we set the return type? Well, of course we could just say this returns either a number or a string in an array, but this is not really that nice because our developer type could change. So instead of setting this manually, we can let TypeScript do the heavy lifting. So we just remove this and we now say developer and then we again use our brackets and we say key of developer. And when we now scroll down here, we can again see that we have string or number as a return type, but we did not specify that to string or number only. We allow TypeScript to figure this out itself. But what happens here in detail? We are telling TypeScript, we have this type developer and we just loop over all the keys of our developer. And this will create a union of all the possible value types in our developer. And then we just tell it that it will be an array of these types. So if you do prefer a better error message, then I would highly suggest that you use this exact better version. Of course, you're completely free to choose the one which fits you better. Now, what I have to say at the end here, of course, is that as always, these types here are only for compile time safety. And if you're passing like an object of type any, this will not work. So this only helps you for your developer experience so that you have fewer bugs in production. But of course, if you want to make it 100% sure that the thing you're passing in here only contains exactly the properties you're expecting, then you have to do this in JavaScript code. So in runtime code, not only in types. But in my opinion, I really like this because if other people read your code, they can see your intent. They can see that you just want to have exactly the developer type in here or the type you specify and not just any type which extends this type. And this will also make it easier for the people to understand your code as a whole and maybe even makes it easier to find existing bugs. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned something useful today. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for the newest TypeScript stuff. And also let me know in the comments what kind of topics you'd like to have covered in future videos. See you in the next one. Bye.